fuck with me way back then Girl, how about now? Cause I'm up right now And he's up right now oh, 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 yeah. Hello and welcome to Big Dash Knows Big Dash Knows what? New York Giants football Let's go Day one of phase one Let me repeat that Day one of phase one, the New York Giants are back in the building. The players are back in the building. Voluntary workouts. Loving it. Love seeing the photos. Love seeing the videos of the guys walking into the building. It's the most fuss about nothing. But understand, us football junkies, we live for this. We live for this. Any kind of news we get anytime, anytime we get a chance to see these players show up, we love to see it. And speaking of it, again, this is voluntary workouts. They had a couple of meetings. They did some meets and greets. We got we got a lot of new vets. We got a lot of new coaches, more new coaches than I thought about. We had 15 uh vet signings and also 10 addition 10 new coaches on the staff. Now that includes a lot of that includes strength and conditioning coaches which they didn't even drop names for i'm pretty sure i can find the names but again we already know who the new coaches were as far as a uh, special teams coordinator uh defensive coordinator positional coach stuff like that we already know about that but also strength and conditioning uh had an overhaul as well but the main question is well one of the questions for me today was was waller there was darren waller at voluntary workouts and Brian Dable neither did confirm or deny that Darren Waller was in the building. A lot of people didn't see Darren Waller. We saw the photos. Darren Waller was not seen. Not saying that he didn't show up later, things like that. But all we know is, and the news is, is that he wasn't in the building. And I'm pretty sure if he was in the building, Dable would have said so. He would have said so. But again, this is voluntary workouts. Voluntary. Some people, not, it, not everyone was there. Not everyone was there. We saw we saw Tibbs. We saw Brian Burns. We saw Dexter Lawrence. I mean, we saw some of the secondary guys. We saw Pinnock. We saw Darnay Holmes. We saw Wandell Robinson. You know, we saw a lot of people. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't like it was 100% attendance. No, it's just voluntary workouts, strength and conditioning, and some meetings. And again, we love to see this kind of stuff because we are football. If you're tuned in to me right now, listen to me talking about the New York Giants. That means you're probably a New York Giants junkie as well. And with that being said, if this is your first time at the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. If this is not your first time on the channel, first time, not your first time seeing me and you're not subscribed to the channel, shame on you. Shame on you. But guess what? You can fix that by liking and subscribing right now. So another thing, Daniel Jones had his first interview. They asked him a lot of questions. Some of the questions, you know, everybody wants to know. A lot of people want to know how he feels. First thing about the injury, you know, says the neck is fine. No issues with his neck. They asked him about his knee is coming along. He's a, you know, he's, he's, he's rehabbing. He's doing everything he has to do. They asked Brian Dable the same question. You know, he's doing everything that we ask him to do. He's rehabbing. He's coming along. Do I have the quote here written down? He's making progress is what Brian Dable said. Making progress. And shout out to my man Heffy from New York Revival. You know, he had to dub up asking, asking questions to um, Daniel Jones in only a way that <laughs> in only a way that Hefe can do it. But again, funny stuff. Go ahead and subscribe to those guys too at New York Revival. And also Hefe has his own channel as well. But I'm just sitting here like I'm looking at the interview with Daniel Jones to ask him about if he's the number one guy for the New York Giants. And he says, Yes, I do, or I do, yes, when asked that question. If they if he believes he's the best guy for the job as far as being a quarterback for the New York Giants, what do you expect the man to say? What do you expect him to say? Nah, I'm not the right guy for the job. No, you just paid this man. Of course, he's going to say or feel like he's the right man for the job. Now, here's a question. Does everybody else feel that same way? Nobody can really answer that, but it will be answered next week. Day one of the draft. We'll figure out just how much, how much or what. You know, the staff, the coaches really think about Daniel Jones. Also, and it could just be, you know, 
whether they believe his timeline is and coming back as well. So we get to see like they can say whatever they want to say right now. But actions speak louder than words and come next week during the draft. We'll know exactly or get a better idea of exactly how the coaching uh, staff feels and also, you know, administration feels about Daniel Jones. Um, other than that, they really didn't say much about Daniel Jones. But again, this is just the first day again, day one of phase one. Um, I put up this. Well, I'm going to put up the schedule right now of all, you know, the timeline, uh, the different phases, phase one through three, and then the dates for mini camp and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and put that up here and share it. You guys can pause it and get those dates down. That way, you know, you know, when the, when information is coming. But um, that was it, man. Not really much to talk about. Um, Brian Dable's interview is, is up now on the Giants channel. Go ahead and check that out. But I'm just giving you guys the, the the gist and the cliff notes of what I got from the interview, the kind of questions they were asking him. Brian Dable being Brian Dable, very vague, answering what he wanted to answer, not answering the things that he didn't want to answer, and then also sidestepping. He, you know, I can't say he's slick because we, we're used to seeing it. And what do you expect? What do you expect the coach to say when you ask some of these questions? And also, like I said, when it comes to Daniel Jones, what do you expect that man to say as well when it comes to his job and how he feels about his capability and his ability to do his job better than anybody else on a roster? And right now, when you're looking at everybody else in that quarterback room, he might be right. <laughs> he might be right. But next week, it might be another story. But that's going to be the video really quick uh, update about what went on today. Day one of phase one. Um, a lot more news will be coming out again. I got another mock draft coming out. Uh, also make sure you guys check out the mock draft that New York revival is having, uh, on Tuesday, a April 16th. Uh, it's going to be a lot of content creators, guys from, from, um, from Twitter or X, you want to call it that'll be joining and, and, you know, sharing their ideas about what teams are going to draft who. So go ahead and tune in to that as well. Again, that's going to be April 16th, Tuesday. Uh, I believe it's 8.30 um, on New York Revival's channel. But that's going to be it. I want to thank everybody for vibing with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And from one Giants fan to another, this is Big Dash Knows, Big Blue Nation. Let's go.